Welcome back. Well, it is a cruel condition that steals independence before it steals life itself. Now, Perth scientists are working on a strategy that could slow the progression of motor neuron disease. It involves dialing down genes which worsen the condition, and it's showing promise. Receiving the shattering diagnosis last year, Steve Robinson's had to come to terms with losing his movement, independence and his future. In essence, it steals time. On average, two Australians die every day from motor neurone disease, which included late 10 News First reporter Nick Way. It's a complex and incurable condition where nerve cells in the body called motor neurones become damaged. I describe motor neuron as the great decelerant and slowing everything down. But a team of researchers at Murdoch University and the Perrin Institute are testing a new strategy to dial down the gene responsible for progressing the disease, which could buy time for patients. My research is to develop a genetic therapy to repair the nerve damage, to re-establish the connections between nerve and muscle. Looking at how to help the neuron, more specifically the motor neuron, maintain its health and maintain its growth. So far, their data is promising, and thanks to more than half a million dollars from Neil Danaher's charity Fight MND, the scientists will begin the years-long process of developing a drug, testing their method in patient cells. Steve plans to donate some of his own cells to the research through a skin puncture procedure. They'll then be turned into neurons in this lab, a process that takes up to nine months. I'll donate my leg if it would help. <laughs> And we will start to know how it, how it, um, how the biology and the science plays out in the next 18 months, and we'll go from there. Amelia Simpson for 10 News First. And good luck.